Hello everyone, this is Zuken, and today I'm bringing you yet another logo design video. Haha, -ha, surprise. Uh, this is becoming quite a regular part of my channel, and I don't mind it at all, because I think it's really useful. And um, considering that my fame, I don't like to call it fame, I guess my recognition has uh, increased somewhat. I get quite a few people nowadays asking me to work on their projects, and uh, quite a few commissions backed up. So yeah, I guess it's going to be a drawing channel slash logo design slash vlogs about controversial issues probably the three most random things in the world but it could be worse i could be like smashing food and getting millions of views and thousands of dollars for throwing eggs against the wall anyway bitterness aside this is going to be a, a bit different because the guy came to me without any sort of idea about what he wanted. Basically, this logo or emblem is for a guild in the game Dragon's Nest somewhere. And the guild is called Corsair, right? So when you think Corsair, you obviously think a few things. So Corsair means a pirate. It means a ship. It also is a model of an airplane, like a, an older airplane. And that's really about it. And of course the company that makes memory. So none of these terms have to be associated with this guild, right? At least that's what he wanted. Because initially I thought like, he said Corsair, so design me a logo with Corsair. So, so you want the, the boat? It's like, no, dude, not the boat. It's whatever. Like, whatever doesn't really work. It's something nice isn't very descriptive. You know, you, when you tell someone, like, make me something nice, that's completely random. So what I decided to go through was uh, to go with was a generic theme, something that exudes a bit of aggressiveness. And as far as I know, Dragon's Nest does happen in a in a medieval setting, I guess. So I picked like the visor of a helmet to show it off. Basically, it's a it's a unique situation because he just told me like make me something nice, without any other indication other than the fact that he wanted maybe the color orange, but he gave me freedom in that regard anyway. So it wasn't really set in stone. So he just wanted something cool, I suppose, to put on a, a sweatshirt or a hoodie. So yeah, I went through with kind of what I thought would work. Initially, I wanted to make a like a custom lettering, but then I wanted to make a, make it a bit more modern. I, I sort of went through a few ideas, but I guess this one worked out pretty well because I did an, an illustrator from start to finish without a like a scan or anything. I just sort of built it along the way and kind of removed elements here and there or added some more and that other text that's under it that's uh, his name basically there's three people three versions of the logo with three different names at the bottom and uh, that's really going to be about it i mean this technically doesn't really qualify as a logo because it does it's not an, an identity it's not a brand identity so i guess it kind of qualifies as an illustration or i don't know uh just a symbol symbol i guess works fine like it doesn't fit in the definition of uh, what you want to call a logo but you know the guy loved it yeah that's why i tweeted about it um after i did it like this was one of the weirdest commissions i've ever gotten like make me something nice i was like okay here's this something completely random and the guy's like yeah i love it that's it that was the entire interaction it's kind of nice when that happens once in a while but uh I prefer working after industry standards, such as, you know, like Design Brief, which I just made now. I uh, wrote an entire thing in Google uh, Forms um, to just streamline the process and make sure that I have all the details down. And, uh, you know, usually when you make one of these, you go through a mind map, which is something that's like a sort of a solo brainstorming session. Basically, you write down your main concept. So let's say you're making a logo for... Uh, bicycle company, right? You write bicycle down and then you spread what's related to bicycle, you know, like sports. And then from sports, you expand to like what, you know, uh, tight suits, speed, athleticism, muscles, basically like all possible related terms. And eventually you, you get to a point where you fill an entire page with, with terms and it looks like a, a neuron map, right? And you uh, grab a highlight marker and you just highlight terms that you think would fit together into a concept, you know, such as speed and uh, muscularity. And then you, you know, you draw a muscular stylized guy running or something. That's obviously not related to uh, bicycles in particular, but it is related to sports, which is related to, to bicycles. So it kind of does make sense in the end. Of course, you gotta, it's up to the guy doing the work to, 
uh, pick the terms that actually fit with what the company does in the end. But it's it's definitely a better way to work than just sitting there thinking like, hmm, what should I just like, does this curve work here? Does this little dot work there? You know, that comes, it's better to have the base down, like the structure, and then you can build upon that. So yeah, anyway, this is going to be uh, the logo I made for Corsair, a guild in Dragon's Nest, on or in Dragon's Nest, I guess. And uh, please rate that shit if you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys around. Bye-bye.